Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on the Canucks continuing to make a slew of moves in their front office. Uh, where Stan Smeal moves back to his advisor role, which is probably the most surprising since he's ingratiated in that city almost as much as the Sedin, and really is a heart and soul blood guy in the Vancouver area. But obviously, uh, Rutherford wants all of his guys in there, where he also moves out Chris Gear and Jonathan Wall, who were key in building the Canucks roster contract and salary cap structure. So obviously it makes sense to move on from those guys because that did not work out. Uh, the Canucks are in a cap situation. It's good for them that the cap's going up, but albeit it's just by $1 million, but that's still uh, helpful and successful. But you you bring in Bruce Boudreaux, obviously, as a head coach to loosen up the guys, get the guys going, as I said in my video on that. Obviously, bringing in Jim Rutherford, like I just said, he wants to bring in all of his own guys. Uh, Smeal's the most surprising guy that was moved back to his role. But we're going to be able to see what he's going to be able to do. But you don't bring in Jim Rutherford. Um... You just don't bring him in for being a retooling uh, team or a rebuilding team. When you bring in Rutherford, the Hall of Famer, who won with Carolina, he depleted their farm system to be able to get done because he just got a win now as much as there could be a win now roster. And he did the same stuff with the Pittsburgh Penguins where he kept being able to figure out how to win it now. Like if you look at a team... Like Vegas, they just recently started not trade well, they did in the Eichel trade, but they have guys like Nicholas Hag and others that didn't make it up um that were from their draft picks. They have Zach Dean now who they signed to an ELC. So like their teams that kinda keep the win now, but if you can keep it going for as long as those teams did, then more power to them. But is that where the Canucks are at at this point? That's the major question. Right now, is that where the Canucks should be going? Because I think most people anticipated they would be in the retool mode. But then maybe we should have saw Signal Blades when Bruce Boudreaux was hired. Maybe it was more of, oh, well, he's a very proven coach. Not so much in the playoffs, but getting teams to it. And he's a guy that can loosen them up. But let's bring in a guy like Rutherford, who then can kind of take us over to the next step if we do get going on that run. So it's interesting um, that they made these moves. Um, it's definitely... Going to be interesting to see who Rutherford um, is going to end up bringing in. Obviously, it makes sense that a guy that's going to be the head honcho there wants to have his own people. But also, it's going to be interesting to see what the hell Rutherford does with his roster. Will he even trade somebody like a Pacolson who's already been up and playing well? I don't think he'll move on from a Hoglander, but if he gets a good deal from him for a more proven uh, older player, will he? Because Rutherford, again, he builds rosters that he thinks are going to be the best to win now. I don't think he's going to be happy with what they did with the LEL contract, but that's in the past now. He can't do anything about that, and that's probably why he wanted gear and wall out of the roles. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed this quick video on the Canucks continuing to maneuver their front office as they move on from Chris Gear and Wall and also move Stan Smith back to where he was at. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Hopefully in Canucks land, everything goes great for you. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about Jim Rutherford being hired and moving Stan Smeal back, being a heart and blood guy in Canucks land, uh, moving Stan Smeal back to his role and getting rid of gear and wall. Peace out, everybody.